Moving on, the Ocean State government is set to announce screening date and release guidelines for applicants that participated in the teachers recruitment exercise that commenced over five months ago. Commissioner for Education Dikwo Eluwole revealed this in an interview with Western Spring Television, noting that cutoff marks for the examination will be released today. Toby Sanusi has more on this. In March 2024, the Assurance State Government conducted examination for 31,000 applicants who reportedly paid 2,000 Naira for registration to sit for teachers' recruitment exercise. About five months later, applicants are yet to know their fate, but the state government insists that the process of recruitment will soon be finalized. On the flip side, the students and pupils, who are the sole beneficiaries of the recruitment exercise, are also expecting to have additional teachers when they resume. Their expectation is attributed to the paucity of teachers in a number of government schools across the state, especially in remote areas. Speaking on the challenges of inadequate teachers in government-owned schools, Akinya Dioju, the Senior Assistant Secretary General of the Nigerian Union of Teachers, NUT, and the Secretary of the Union in Oshun State, advised the state government to recruit more teachers in remote areas, where it berates the level of insufficient teachers. He laments how just four teachers manage to teach a whole primary or secondary school in some communities. But when you go to interiors, you know that our classrooms are virtually empty. There are no teachers in our classroom. We go to some schools, even secondary school, we meet just four teachers, including principals. Go to primary school, you see a, a, a headmaster with one or two te teachers, handling primary one to six. How effective do you want teachers to be in such schools? So that is what we are facing. So. There are no teachers. Those that can be moved, let, their, let, let government move them to another school. It's not even good for a teacher to be in a place more than six, seven, eight years. Sure. Then those to be recruited. It's even good. Let them start in their own various local governments. Mr. Adeojo also questioned why the state government has been tardy in the recruitment process, noting that the screening exercise should have been concluded already. I'm of the opinion that the government would have done something before this time. Yes, as an officer of the union, we've done some investigation and we were told that it's because their government is trying to be very careful because of this uh, issue of minimum wage. But then that the issue of minimum wage has not been settled. We are expecting government to have, you know, you know started... The, the Some parents, Taiwo Adimola and Ajoke Babalola, corroborated the NUT secretary's concern, noting that their children lacked mathematics teacher while in junior secondary school. Public la one man me logo go on. So you thought one bed ni single, but if you want GSS class, oh man, so we pay. Go see, mass teacher ni ba ye, pay mass teacher one. Some ba wo weary. You need mass teacher one or one. You need mass teacher job at that point. Go go on. Tell them on Facebook. Tell them go on in your room. Tell them go back. You can't take back one. I want to work. Keep keep keep. Come back. Back teacher. Come teacher. So back. Come back. If you come, I want teacher. So that. Go back. She pay English. You need teacher. English. You want. But in Bosse Dia Dida Post case, the teachers in our child's school, which is in Oshoguan and urban area, are simply enough. Money or money public school. However, the Commissioner for Education in the state, Dikbo Iluoli, tries to allay the fears of some of these parents and the applicant as well, stressing that the applicant will be screened from next week Monday, while successful candidates who meet the requirement will resume as full staff on resumption date, which is September 16th. By the grace of God, new teachers will resume with the pupils, come to it this time. By next week, there's going to be interview. You will be hearing it on radio as from Wednesday. So the state has been sold. We don't want anybody to travel at long places to have their interview. We have shown the state to six zones. Each of the zones is having their centers. They are going to contact every successful candidate in their, on their phone. So we are on the top of the situation. By next week, 
everything will be okay. What we are saying here is not that we are, ex we are not going to interfere at 1,000 people, students, or the applicants. It's those that fall within the cut of marks. So whoever is employed is going to take minimum wage. In less than two weeks, schools are expected to resume academic activities after a long vacation. According to the Yashun State Government, government-owned schools like these are expected to resume with additional 5,000 teachers. Over the years, there have been challenges of paucity of teachers in government-owned schools, especially those in remote areas. But with the additional 5,000 teachers, it is expected that the challenges that come with paucity of teachers will be alleviated to some extent. Toby Sanusi, Western Spring Television News.